Hello everyone, I am Hossam and this is CAC. I am very excited to talk today about the French scholarship, which is called the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship. But why I'm, I'm that excited? It's actually because this is the same scholarship that I received to come and study in France. I ended up getting my MBA from the Sorbonne University, which is one of the most prestigious universities in France and all over the world. So before talking about the scholarship, I just want to introduce a little bit about myself to know my background in studying abroad because I have been studying abroad since a really long time and I traveled through the world on the scholarships and I started my study abroad journey in the United States where I got a scholarship from the American government on the Nisa U grade scholarship. And then I got an internship in Germany in the University of Bielefeld. And after this, I got another internship program in Singudunum University in Serbia. And in 2015, I received an award from a big pharma company in Switzerland to get the Biochem program and stay there to learn more about the biotechnology and other uh, business related topics. And then in 2020, I got the French scholarship, which is Eiffel Excellence, where I got accepted in the Sorbonne University. And that's why today I'm doing this video is to explain to you how I came to France and how was the selection process what is my recommendation for you if you want to apply for this scholarship and everything that you would need to proceed to apply for the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship. The story started when I studied French and I paid so much attention to improve my French when I was in the United States because my university had a branch in Canada and there was kind of exchange of professors and I had a professor who uh, really lived in France and Canada, so she was really good at the French language, and that's why I really uh, got interested to apply for the course. And as soon as I uh, like enrolled in the program, I was fascinated by her way to teach French. And even when I get back to my home country, I continued uh, like my journey to improve my French, and I studied two years at the French Institute in Cairo. And one day, I was just going to my course, and I met. Uh, uh, by chance, uh, my friend who told me today it's very crowded in the center because there is an event and just I, uh, I just get into the institute and I found that there are a lot of people and I found out that that's an event for students who are interested to apply to study abroad in France. At the same day, I made the culture attaché at the French embassy in Cairo and we had really long conversation. And after uh, learning that I am studying at the French Institute for a long time, in addition to my French studies in the United States, he advised me to apply for the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship. And to be honest, I didn't hear about this program. However, I was studying in the French Institute for two years, but he explained to me that I am a really good fit for this program. And this program is sponsored everything for students, but the most important criteria is to apply for a good university and a good program and to get acceptance in at least one university. So to cut it short, I got accepted in the University in the MBA program, and then I decided to go through the selection process for the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship. What is the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship and why the French government is promoting for this scholarship? The answer is the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship is a program that is sponsored by the French government and administered by Campus France in France. And the aim of this program is to attract international students who are interested to study in France on specific programs. And the criteria for this program is that you must be uh, like uh, at maximum age, the maximum age is 25 years old and you need to get an acceptance letter from a French university to study any specific domains that you can find now on the screen and also in the description below. You cannot just apply directly to the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship, but firstly, you need to secure a place in a French university and you need to inform the admission officer that you are interested to apply for this program because actually, when you get accepted in the university, firstly, then the university will nominate your application to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to get the scholarship. So basically, firstly, you need to secure place in, in the in French program in any French university, and then the French university will apply for you to get the uh, award or to get the scholarship from the French government. The good news here is that it's not mandatory to study in French language but you can also study in English language. But the most important is that you need to select the good program that best fits you and you need to meet all the requirements 
of the program per year to your application. So the question here is that what are the eligible countries uh, for this scholarship? And the answer is that you can apply from anywhere around the world because there is no list of like eligible countries, which is a really a good uh, option in this scholarship because in the other scholarships, you can always find the list of eligible countries. But in the Felix Silence Scholarship, there is no list of specific eligible countries. The Felix Silence Scholarship covers everything for you. So the flight ticket, the tuition fees of the university, the housing, uh, the medical insurance and many many other privileges as a scholarship holder in France. So for example, I actually like they secured a place for me in uh, student dormitories. It's called uh, Cruz and the Cruz is everywhere around uh, the French territories. So it really depends. They really got me uh, a dorm very close to my university, to my campus. It was like only five minutes uh, walking or two minutes by bike. So it was really good option because you really think so much about the time between your housing and your uh, campus. And that's very something I really liked in this scholarship. As a scholarship holder in France, you have really many privileges. And these privileges include part of your rent will be paid by the government, 75% reduction on the monthly uh, pass for the transportation, in addition to some food stamps, some discounts for the French courses, and really, really many other things. So that's why I believe that France is the really one of the top countries around the world that are student friendly. And the privileges that I found in France, I couldn't find it in any other country that I have visited or studied in before. Now it's a time to go over the application process of Felix Sloan. So step by step, we will read all the application uh, document where you can get really a full picture on the scholarship, the requirements, how to apply, who is eligible to apply, so let's go. So now we can go over the presentation of the program where we can really learn more about the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship. So I would like to go and start with the presentation of the program and here they explain that this program offers a scholarship for programs uh, that are one year, two years, and up to three years. But actually, the three years is only for engineering students because in France, you could uh, get your master's degree in engineering through three years. But uh, for the, all the other uh, domains, you can only get it uh, like the, the scholarship for one or two years. This is for the master uh, program. There is also the doctoral uh, students can apply, but actually the, the session for today is only for uh, master students. And this is what I'm going to focus uh, on. And the uh, objectives of, of this program that was uh, like um, when it was designed by the French uh, government is to help the French institution of higher education to attract top international students uh, to their master uh, program and they specified here a list of programs where students can apply and they have two categories the first one is science and technology biology and health ecological transition mathematics and digital sciences and engineering and for humanities and social sciences is french history language and civilization law and political sciences economics and management so it's very important when you uh, apply for the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship, make sure that the program that you are applying for in uh, the French university is under uh, one of these uh, categories or one of these programs. And as I said, the, uh, the, uh, like the uh, programs in France, you can apply for both French and uh, English program program so it's not a problem at all and as I said as well it's very important note that you really need to take care of is that you cannot apply for the Eiffel Excellence scholarship by your own you need firstly to be accepted in an academic program in a French university and the institution or the university will apply or will nominate the candidates for the Eiffel Excellence scholarship so the when you get accepted in a university the admission office will contact the scholarship committee to apply for you. The length of the program, uh, as um, I said, is uh, awarded for one year or two years or three years and only for the engineering program you can get the three years option. 
Here they explain this in details. So if you are applying for an engineering uh, program, you have three years, which is 36 months. And if you are applying for M1, you have 24 months, which is two years. And if you are applying for M2, you will get it for one year. And to explain what's M1 and M2, because this is something in the French education system, some programs here in France, uh, like you can apply for Master 2 only for one year if you really have specific qualifications. So, for example, if you get your bachelor degree, uh, like five years of bachelor degree, some countries they offer five, like I got, for example, my, my bachelor degree was in pharmacy, was, uh, was five years. So, it means that I am eligible to apply for the Master 2 programs. But for example, in other countries, if you have three years bachelor degree or four years bachelor degree, you can apply for the M1 uh, Master uh, programs. And definitely, if you applied for M1, the scholarship will sponsor you for your M1 and your M2. And that's why they said for M1, they will sponsor for two years but for the M2, they will only sponsor for one year. Now let's discover what the, the uh, like what will be offered by the scholarship. So for master students, they you will receive a monthly stipend for 1,181 euros each month that will come uh, to your uh, like uh, bank account, and they will also uh, like uh, cover for you your international airfare back and forth from your home country, domestic travel support, insurance, and assistance in seeking housing, and also cultural activities. And uh, th that was really interesting because when I applied for this scholarship, they uh, really uh, did all of that for me, and that was really kind of relief because you don't think so much about the stress of having money or applying for um, the... Uh, like the insurance or, you know, what I'm going to do, like in terms of the flight tickets, etc. No, you don't have this hassle. They really organize everything for you. And one note, uh, one side note is that I remember when I arrived to uh, Paris, uh, my housing was not ready for two days. So they booked for me a hotel in Paris so that I can stay for two days until my room will be available at the uh, students uh, like dorms. So they are really well organized and they do their best to help students to have really the best experience in France. Um, so one of the, uh, the, 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 the good things that you really need to learn is the application process because that's very, very important uh, pillar that you understand how, how it works. So you have uh, the what's called Campus France and this Campus France uh, office uh, you can find it everywhere around the world and uh, you really need this uh, like the this campus france because you have to pass any student actually who is going to france they have to pass by this office to get uh, some information and in addition to the information you also have to get some documents when you get accepted in the french universities so uh, the, that's why they said that step one is that you need to contact campus france office in your home country uh, where you can uh, like get any advice uh, about the programs or the process. And also you can contact the French education institution or research organizations uh, by going and do your like homework or search on the best program that could uh, fit you. And you, as I said, you need to inform the admission office that you are interested to apply for the French Eiffel Excellence uh, Scholarship. So uh, there are two ways to apply for the universities, and that's very, very important to, uh, to understand, is that you can apply directly through the university. So at the case of my program, I contacted directly the admission office of the Sorbonne for the MBA, and I did all the paperwork in the terms of uh, the sending them my bachelor certificate, my English proficiency proof, my uh, passport, etc. that was done by the university itself, by the admission office. But other programs, they require you to apply through the Campus France website where you can go create an account and you can uh, apply to the, your programs through the website of the Campus France. So it's very important to understand when you visit the French uh, university uh, website, which uh, way 
they actually uh, prefer for uh, candidates to apply. And as soon as you go through the application process with the universities, you will uh, be selected. And if you get a sel like if you get a notification or a letter of acceptance from the French university, it means this uh, this is actually the hardest part. And uh, you have really one uh, like uh, one step to do, which is contacting Campus France, inform them that you get the acceptance from the university. And uh, at this time, you can go through the application process for the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship because the university, after your selection, they will nominate you for the program to the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And after a while, if you got selected from the, uh, like the committee of the scholarship, in April, they publish all the names of students who got accepted in the program. And at this time, you really need to go to your local campus, France, and apply for uh, the uh, approval from the campus, France. Because when you get accepted in both the program and the scholarship, uh, you have to inform your local campus, France, where you can go and uh, do kind of uh, upload all of your documents. And you will get, uh, uh, like, they call it uh, attestation like a paper that says that the campus France in your home country approves your, um, like, uh, your uh, acceptance letter from the university. Uh, and this is very, very important paper that you need to get because if, you, if you, like, you didn't get this paper and you go to the French embassy to apply for the student visa, they will uh, reject your application because it means campus France in your, in your home country didn't approve uh, that uh, you, uh, it's okay for you to go and study on this program. So this is basically uh, uh, the 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 the, the uh, like the uh, basic information that you need to know uh, regarding um, regarding the French um, Eiffel Excellence Scholarship. So now, after watching my video, I wish you really had fun. So if you really felt my video was helpful for you, please subscribe for the channel to, to know more about studying abroad and the other global opportunities. In addition to that, please share the video with everyone or whoever you know that could or might be interested to apply. And don't forget yourself to apply for the Eiffel Excellence Scholarship. Good luck.